A family that fled the violence in Afghanistan says they finally feel safe and relaxed in their new temporary home here in North Texas. A local family took them in using Airbnb. Fox Wars Dion Anglin is here with their story. Dion. That's right. This North Texas family said they made up their minds to help someone. And what they are doing quite possibly could save another family from great danger. Two dads putting up holiday lights. So he's trying to help around the house and uh, I'm, I'm telling him, no, you don't have to help. I, I, you know, I can do it. And uh, he, he's, he's compelled to help. It's a familiar job for Mark Pulse, a husband and father with two little ones looking forward to Christmas. But it's new territory for Mohammed Hotak, who is here with his family after fleeing his homeland, Afghanistan. He and his wife, who's not shown for cultural reasons, have three kids and one on the way. And I always feel very relaxed and I feel that I'm safe finally now. Otherwise, I was don't feel safe in Afghanistan. It was too hard for me to leave there. This video shows the crowded flight the family managed to board after leaving behind everything they own to get out of the country. Since 2006, Hotak worked for the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan, a position that put his safety in jeopardy after the Taliban's sudden rise to power. I was very scared. I was very afraid because uh, I've been working long term with the U.S. people in Afghanistan. So that's why I was very, maybe they will kill me or maybe they, will, they can do everything to me because I worked since 2006 with the U.S. people. Mark and Brenna Pulse went through Airbnb to offer their home to a refugee family, a decision they're happy they made. It actually was an easy decision for us. Um, you know, we have the guest room upstairs and we thought, you know, they're not going to live with us forever. <laughs> it would be a short, a short inconvenience to do something wonderful and to help somebody who can really benefit. The Pulse children were at daycare during our visit, but despite the language barrier, their parents say they enjoy their live-in playmates. Each family is learning from the other. So we've become a family. So we... Um, we immediately after we met them, we just we knew that they were going to be lifelong friends and that uh, they're special people and they're going to be successful in this country. They are very kind people. They are very nice family. They are very, very kind people. Now, Mohammed's family just uh, may soon be moving out into their own apartment. They were awaiting word on that, in fact, today, uh, but they are moving toward becoming totally self-sufficient.